northern New Mexico. Authorities say they discovered a compound hidden by walls of tires and wooden pallets. Inside, 11 children ranging in age from 1 to 15. Investigators say they were starving with rags for clothing. Authorities arrested two men, 39-year-old Siraj Wahaj and 40-year-old Lucas Morton, along with three women believed to be the kids' mothers. Among the charges they face, child abuse. These people were, were armed and, and possibly dangerous. This is where they would sleep. Jason Badger and his wife Tanya own the property. They say the compound appeared in January. Ever since, they've been trying to get the intruders off their land. He had multiple firearms. They had these kids they were keeping here that never even came out. Wahaj already had a warrant out for his arrest. He's accused of abducting his now four-year-old son from Georgia last year. Authorities say they were directed to the New Mexico property after a detective in Georgia received a message from the compound. It said, we are starving and need food and water. Officials raided the compound Friday, arresting the adults and putting the kids in protective custody. But tonight, no sign of the abducted boy. It doesn't matter how many people it takes, how long it takes. I mean, we have to look for him. A mystery in the high desert with still unanswered questions. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking okay. out our YouTube channel. Can you Subscribe this? by clicking on that no. button. Let me turn this around. What to do, YouTube? <clears throat> what do you do, my sweethearts? Did y'all hear that? I just wanted to play that for y'all. I was think I was just sitting here listening. When I came across that video, I was like, this where a lot of motherfuckers at. First of all, it's in Mexico. I'm going to put on my life a lot of trafficking, a lot of missing children. Let us go over Mexico. Let us go over Mexico nowhere let's get to the of uh, uh, like in the middle of nowhere start busting that shit down i bet we'll find hella kids i bet we'll find hella uh missing children uh uh well all are missing but we'll find a lot of kids let us start going to some of them counties some deserts where out in the woods like in the middle of nowhere you hear me middle of nowhere that's exactly where all the kids are being held at they in hotels, they in bandit places. They they look like it's, 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 mm, I can't even get it out. It look like trash, but the whole time it's not trash. Barnyards, abandoned buildings. Nah, that's exactly where these motherfucking FBI should be looking. That's where a lot of these police should be looking. Um, detectives, motherfuckers want ex so much. See, I'm trying to. I'm trying to calm the cussing down, y'all, because you know I be get me amped up. But a lot of people want to get on here and say, um, y'all playing detective? No, baby. If I was playing detective, I'd be kicking in people's houses, people's properties. I'd be invading people's shit and don't even know the kids there. I don't care. I'd just be riding all through that, looking at every map in, in the city of the world, of the world, looking at the map of the world and just finding deserted spots. In my heart, I believe that. I don't believe it's just Mexico right there. That's going on. That's where they send us. That's where they're taking all the kids. I believe that. Cross that border so they can't get back over here. Where you think all these abducted children are going? Where? They not in your city no more. Or their city no more where they're getting abducted at. They are getting abducted for either trafficking, sex. Sending them off. Look how they had mothers. They said the three women. They was involved. They was the fake mothers. The fake mothers that take care of the children. This is a y'all. The way we do this YouTube thing, right? Y'all gotta listen clear. How we set up this YouTube and try to be an advocate or whatever your thing is on YouTube. That's exactly what they do. This is a business that they are running. You hear me? This is a business. So every minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Every minute, every hour, every second. Yes, somebody can get abducted. They get abducted and they get took him. And they and, and, and the cops, when they get these calls, they need to be alert. They need to just go. They need to just make that move as soon as they get the phone calls. Because the longer they wait, they already crossing the border. They already got them in counties. How eleven children? And no one really knew this. Eleven kids. How can you? Keep 11 kids quiet. 
They'll let you know where they're at. They are not nowhere near you, not nowhere near your city, your state. Um, they got to be somewhere where it's open, where the kids can scream. They can scream all they want. I'm doing countries, counties, barns, buildings, uh, 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 storage bins, storage places, car lots, man. It, 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 believe me, the dirtiest lot, the dirtiest, grimiest spot. That's where them children at. Believe that. And in somebody y'all, somebody house, they got a big house. They keep them in the basement. Believe me. That's all in play. That's why I don't play with nobody. I wish I would go to somebody's house. Nope, you can talk to me right here. For yeah, for your fucking ass. Uh, take me up. Take me. Kidnap me. So basically, the point of this video, real talk, y'all. Like, you just got to be aware. You got to be aware. But the little children, how the fuck can they be aware when they don't know? So... That's just another awareness for y'all ass. Like, these are spots they're taking them, the kids at. Like, I swear for God, if something happened to my fam, my friends, family, anybody get abducted, I swear for goodness, I'm going over that Mexico. I'm going to be searching high and low. High and low. Because I know they crossing them borders to get all them children over there. Them illegal kids. Y'all y'all taking them. So y'all taking them somewhere where nobody looking for them at. So, mothers, fathers, the U.S., the fucking community, when someone's going missing, your child, your friend, your homegirl, your homeboy, believe me, they're not staying in your city, wherever you're from, your city or state, they're not staying there that long. Believe me, soon they get abducted, they on their, on their way, traveling, to take them, to sell them off. So, you got to do something right then and there. Ain't no week waiting. That's too long. I'm sad to say it. Three days, I'm, I think that's pushing it. You got to find that child right away. Right away. They are not letting you uh, 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 take time. They are moving. They are kidnapping and they, they taking them children. children. Taking them. And, and, and I want a lot of people who, like, they have lost someone or, or doing a case where they where, where a child been abducted because I put on my life. Sometimes it's not dead. They will be dead, but they're not dead. Sometimes they're traveling them to the spots that they won't sell them off to. That's facts. That is facts. I don't think this is the first time that little spot right there, Mexico spot, with 11 kids that been doing. No, that's not the first time. This is not the first rodeo. Can't be 11 children. I'm not even going to. Uh, what is it? I'm not even going to. Um, Set myself up for 11 children. If you kidnapping, that's your first time. You want me too scared. You gonna think like they screaming all over the place. They loud. No, that's not their first rodeo. That's what they. That's what they do. They take them. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they busted them people. But you better believe they got somebody else that's gonna continue that that business. They gonna continue that business, but continue it somewhere else. They not gonna set up there. They gonna shut that shop down. And it's going somewhere else. Could the shop already shut down? It's so sad. You know how many. Girls and boys, young boys, young people, kids, right now is alive, getting trafficking and living the worst time of their life, and they just wish they was dead. There's a lot of people, children, that, that, that's probably not even gone, and they just been trafficking, they've been in the organ trafficking, I mean, not organ, goodness, goodness. Nika, she on my brain. They've been in the sex trafficking for so long, it's normal to them. Like, they wouldn't even run away when they get older, it's so normal. Because they've been abducted as a child. And that's all they know. Because you know it's easy to mold a kid. To do whatever or grow up to do whatever. Because you can mold them. But it's sad. It's sad. It is so sad. Damn it. It's sad. Real bad. I didn't like it. I'm sorry y'all. It's my quality. Oh, I didn't record it. Nice and bright. But like I said. Y'all can hear it clear as day. I tried the best I can. Sorry for the uppity hoes. I'ma try not to cuss. Uppity hoes. They wanna bring a girl down. Don't 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 even try it. Don't even try it. It ain't what it look like. It's what it sound like. Do that. Listen and stop looking. Cause I'm no shame of mine. No shame. I ain't got the perfect lightning. I don't got the editing. I don't got the camera light. I don't have none of that shit. Well, eventually I get it. Yeah, I will. Eventually, eventually, yes, I will. Eventually, yes, I will. Put everything together and get the right equipment and all this good stuff for 
or everything. But right now, I'm going to hood shit, and y'all going to hear the real. If you can't take me on my bad, you can't take me on my good. That's how I roll. How can somebody love everything you say when you up? But when you down, they like, they don't fall play. No, y'all never don't play no me. Not like that. Not like that. Not when I'm busting my ass trying. Not when I'm, 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 um, not when I'm sitting here cocky and acting like I'm, like my shit don't stink when it do. So I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm not waiting for no hater. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But I just wanted to get on here, come in with my sweethearts, my UT family. I love y'all so much. Yes, I do. I hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope y'all have an even more better New Year. And whoever done y'all F in this 2018, I hope y'all dismiss them. Start fresh. Have a better 2019. And your girl Jennifer M. Norella said that shit. Hmm. And I said it. And this organ stuff and I mean, this, yeah, organ trafficking, sex trafficking. Just uh, 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 trafficking period. It's not cool. It's not cool. We missing. We losing too many kids for dumb stuff. The whole time the mo wasn't what we thought it was. Some bullshit. Excuse me. Keep itching. Hey, the girl just wanted to come in. My little way she looks, but I don't care. I don't mind. Our girl, your girl was up for two days straight. Uh, uh, Christmas Eve night to Christmas morning and cooking up a storm. And then I didn't even get no sleep. So I'm up and down and your girl's tired. That's just how it go. Your girl's tired. I just can't wait till Christmas come and go. Lord, I can't wait till this go so I can be focusing on myself. And taking more time to do my YouTube videos about all the awareness I'm trying to do. The new things I want coming in 2019. The new things I will be doing in 2019. Um, how y'all can help me give back when I do the community thing. Um, all that, you guys. My sweetheart, y'all hit me up for all that stuff. All that stuff. And we can talk about it, get it popping. Some things what I want to do. I got some plans uh, for Valentine's Day. I wanted to go over to the cancer unit side where the kids at, and um, and give them some special little teddy bears, gifts, things like that. And that's what I want to cheer them up, you know, to make them feel like someone loves them and someone cares. Yeah, someone think they pretty. Someone still think they beautiful inside and out. That's what I want to do. That's exactly what I want to do. So, if y'all want to help me do that, y'all can. Um, when y'all help me, uh, anything you send me, I'm putting your name down. The amount you send me and what you did for that. Like, what you, what did I go and get with your money? So, basically, you done it. You get me? You done it. Your name will be on the little basket. I get, like I said, when I take it to children, I tell them. So, tell us, uh, what is nurse? I have, I'm a YouTuber. I have subscribers. They call my sweetheart. We all put in together to get baskets to send off for Valentine's Day for the beautiful little girls and the guys, the boys, you know, but the cancer little girls. And show them how much we appreciate them. They make us stronger every day. Motherfuckers is not appreciative. But that you go to one of them help centers. You help someone and you won't see how appreciative you really are. How blessed you really are. Facts. Go help one of them out. And they will make you feel like how you're, you're, you're beyond blessed. And that's my plan today. I'm waiting for a hating ass faker to act like that's the, what they see me doing. And try to act like they're going against me. Oh, wow. Well, go against me. Go, go the fuck against me. Just know I got a good heart and I got some motivation. And I'm doing it. And I'm doing it. Then I want to do a full drive, you guys, sometime, uh, January, maybe February, maybe March, who knows, but I want to do a full drive, and what I mean my full drive is, I'm stepping up my a little hood, more hood, it's a little more dangerous, but I'm stepping up a little more hood, 
I want to help uh, give food baskets to people, all that stuff. All that stuff. I want to eventually help a homeless couple spend like a week into a room. Like, I got plans. I have plans. And and when you, and when you let negativity come through your vision, your view, your rear view, it block all your, uh, uh, um, what I want to say, it block all your visions. It block them. So you got to knock that shit out. Don't let them block your visions. Don't let them not block your visions. So, that's my visions. That's why I'm moving forward with this. And that's where I'm trying to go. Straight trying to go. I want to step in the hoods to bring the kids things that they may need throughout the school year. Sometimes it might not be a school year, you guys. You never know, sweethearts. Because why would take care of the kids just every year of, you know, of like Christmas stuff? They be needing stuff. School year is all year round. So I want to be like a supplier that comes through. I'm going to pick a school, like two elementary schools. And as I raise money, I will be coming to them every certain amount of months with probably goodie baskets, um, party baskets for them to have a party in their class. Um, like the, the school write me the most letter. I almost bust my ass, uh, my sweethearts. But, yeah, I'm trying to bump that up. A lot of people hating on each other and ain't nobody doing nothing. A lot of motherfuckers talking smack, pulling up on people and all this stuff and ain't nothing getting done. Nothing getting done. Nothing getting done at all. So that's why I wanted to come on here with a better approach. I didn't even want to cuss on this one. I wanted to educate their butts another way. I'm ready to shut their ass down another way. See, because negativity, they come on your side and they want everything... To be negative, not on him. So, back to my video. Like I said, uh, my sweethearts, this is not fake. What you think the women doing? The women is the recruiters. They re they want they the ones that make the kids feel comfortable so they can probably even get them. Now you see. They even have made women that's pretending to be mamas. So, just imagine how this kid's getting kidnapped. They might not even be really getting kidnapped. They might be getting sweet talk. Then that's when the kidnapping come, you know. But I'm talking about in a rugged kidnapping way. Sweethearting them down, talking them out there. Talking them out their drawers, basically. Making them, opening them up, making them comfortable. That's exactly what that is. Exactly. Exactly. So, before my fucker disrespect Jennifer and Marillas or want to disrespect me, want to pull it up. I'm talking about fight, man. Look, if y'all success ain't up, y'all grind ain't up, y'all knowledge ain't up, or y'all wisdom and smartness ain't up, keep y'all fake butts on your own shit. That's just straight facts. I don't know what else I can tell you. That's facts for your ass. I'm tired of hearing this girl, that girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, that girl got kidnapped. And we don't know what girl. Where she at? Where is, where, what, what was the memo? Like, what, what, what was the whole point of it? Nothing. It ain't the point. They just want to tra traffic people and sell them off. Straight facts. They want to traffic our kids and sell them straight off to other people where they do nasty, grimy things to them at. That's a miserable perv. For whoever do stuff like that. Then, my fucker say you recording wrong, you recording wrong. Okay, I may be recording wrong. All that. But like I said, I'm new. It only get better with time. So, no one saying nothing. Angry when I come on here and I see, and it's not even a, it's like black, all black. That did the kidnapping. Are you serious? Sorry, my sweethearts. Making sure I'm still on live. I mean, not live, but you know, still recording. Uh, Chick Todd, y'all. 
came home and did what I did. But y'all, my sweethearts, I'm, I'm off the subject real fast. But if y'all ever know anybody that, uh, uh, that need house cleaning, bathroom cleaning, all that, I'm a boss, y'all. I own my own business. Just let me know when y'all need that shit done. It's your girl, Jennifer M. McWillan. And yes, y'all don't, like I said, a lot of people don't know of a motherfucker's life. They just guessing because they ain't in yet. But if you ever need something and you want good professional work with good quality and good, uh, uh what I want to say, and good professionalism, then you call your girl up. You hit your girl up. I'm very reasonable too, y'all. Very reasonable. That's what I do. I run my own little business and bust my ass. Ray be out, my babies, because I wanted to go live. Cause I heard a lot of hate. I should go live because I heard a lot of hate that I want to address so bad. Haters, <laughs> off the damn chain. That my day one water. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, my sweetheart, you gotta get my water out. My water. Come on here. My sweethearts, and always put y'all D and put y'all on full. What is it? I want to put y'all on front. On front. So y'all can know exactly what I'm feeling and what's going on. And that's and that's what I feel. I feel all, everyone that's been out of here, straight up. They've been gone. Gone. They took them over. They're not coming back. And that's sad. That you know people not on their jobs in them cities checking everything. You're like, old oh, lady. But it is what it is. 